A world of three thousand, with countless needs and ups and downs in life, a young man with dreams, in this world that seems like a dream true or false, unreal or unreal, is it a dream or reality Nalan suddenly encountered the turbulence of time and space. As soon as he opened his eyes, he reincarnated into a little baby, watching me practice both Buddhism and Taoism, stepping on the void and freely cultivating immortality this story is purely fabricated and fabricated. Don't be particular, don't take it for granted, don't substitute yourself. The author's comparison is not very cultural. Huh, after reading too much, I want to write two pieces of it myself. Chapter 1 G.A. 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 Dot, pretty girl, we can't be considered strangers anymore. How are you? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. G.A. 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 Beautiful girl, we can't be considered strangers anymore. You can let me go at least. Zhang Gong twisted his body fiercely and dodged Nalan's one finger of energy, I, old Zhang, have been around the world for thousands of years at least, and have met countless beautiful women. You are so ruthless that you cannot get married. Ah! Zhang Gong Chang screamed in agony, taking a finger of Nalan's anger, quickly turned around and ran away, without further words, suddenly, a turbulent flow arose in time and space, and the turbulence grew bigger and bigger. In the blink of an eye, it grew from the size of a ball to the size of a basketball court, instantly engulfing the two of them, Nalan felt her physical body instantly torn apart, becoming a ghost. In a daze and mist, there was an attraction coming from afar. Nalan's soul couldn't help but follow that attraction and went to a warm place, as if in the embrace of her mother. In a daze, Nalan knew that she had entered a mother's womb. In short, it was reincarnation and rebirth, the mother and fetus were filled with primitive Hongmang energy, and Nalan knew it was a rare and desirable thing. Nalan quickly began to gather Hongmang energy, exhale and inhale. Until finally, the breath of Hongmang condensed into a droplet in the sea of qi between Nalan's chest and abdomen, planting the seed of Tao. Looking at the rare Hongmang breath, Nalan slowly exhaled a breath, when the Hongmang Qi was condensed, Nalan vaguely approached the origin of the Tao in this world. The origin of the Tao was the Tao followed when this world was formed. The Hongmang Qi was produced at the beginning of the formation of this world when the Tao was first formed, and it was the purest kind of Qi. It was a rare treasure in practice, which could be encountered but not sought. It could only be encountered when the mother was nurturing the embryo. Nalan encountered the turbulence of time and space, although her physical body was destroyed, but the Tao provides an opportunity to start anew, encountering the aura of Hongmeng within the mother body. This aura of Hongmeng is a treasure that everyone in practice wants to obtain. With this aura of Hongmeng, starting the path of cultivation again will not be a thousand miles in a day, Nalan spent his time in the daily gathering of Hongmeng Qi. One day, when Nalan gathered Hongmeng Qi, he entered an epiphany and was able to comprehend the formation of the world, approach the origin of the world, and comprehend the formation of the world. In the chaos, the chaotic Qi slowly changed, forming Hongmeng Qi. A green seed mutated from Hongmeng Qi, and Hongmeng Qi evolved into the origin of the world, after thousands and thousands of years, the small green seed finally broke through its shell and grew a green bud. Finally, the world grew its first tree, and as time passed, the world became full of green until it formed the first bird, the first insect, the first fish, the epiphany came to an end, and Nalan felt a deeper understanding of the Tao in this world. His understanding of the Tao became even more profound. Nalan knew that this was an excellent opportunity for cultivation, and couldn't help but feel happy. He smiled in his heart, thinking that he had been practicing for 1,600 years and was still delighted with the experience. He couldn't help but feel more and more that he should sink down, cherish this hard-won opportunity for cultivation, and gather the energy of enlightenment, day after day, as she continued to practice, Nalan suddenly heard voices from the outside world. She knew that she had been in her mother's womb for six months, and from that day on, she could occasionally hear her mother's affectionate whispers, her father's hopes for her birth, and the conversations between family members. 
She knew that there was also an older brother in her body, who seemed to know that her mother had a younger sister in her belly, occasionally tempting her with sweet lotus root and osmanthus cake to come out and play with him, Nalan couldn't help but smile. Days passed unconsciously, and the day of birth was coming. Chapter 2 Birth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Time passes slowly through practice Nalan suddenly felt something pressing from above, overwhelming with pain. It was about to be born, and Nalan swam out with all her might, striving to make this mother suffer less, I'm coming out soon, dot. I heard someone shouting outside, Nalan suddenly saw light coming from ahead and swam forward with even greater determination, I see my head, dot. I heard someone outside shouting, I saw a torrent rushing in, and Nalan followed this momentum and rushed out directly, coming out, coming out, dot, shouted outside, a pair of big hands picked up Nalan, it's a girl, pap, the pain in her buttocks hit, and Nalan quickly cried out, successfully avoiding another spanking of her buttocks, the newborn baby's eyes are not very clear, and it is easy to feel tired and drowsy. Nalan opened her eyes and looked at the surrounding environment. A few blurry figures were busy around, and her big hands carried her into the bathtub, gently bathing her with warm water, and then putting on small clothes. Nalan was sent to her mother in this world, and was gently held in a fragrant and soft embrace, Madam is really lucky. I have never seen such a worry-free child before. I'm afraid my mother will hurt me. It's a thoughtful little cotton jacket. Madam, it's really fortunate. This is a girl, and she and the young master happen to form a good character, with both children. A sound came from around, and newborn babies were prone to fatigue. Nalan slowly closed her eyes and fell asleep, when he opened his eyes again, Nalan could already see things around him clearly, probably because he had absorbed the aura of Hong Meng. The warm fragrance came from around, like in a woman's boudoir, which should be a warm and quiet pavilion. Although his cultivation was no longer there, Nalan's spiritual consciousness was still there. Now, without the barrier of mother and fetus, he could clearly see everything in this big house. This house occupies a considerable amount of land and has a simple layout. I don't think our family is a wealthy family, but it's also good and should be considered a moderate one, the layout of the homestead is simple, divided into inner courtyard and outer courtyard. The inner courtyard is the inner courtyard, while the outer courtyard is the guest courtyard and outer courtyard, in the middle of the courtyard is the main courtyard, surrounded by five small courtyards and scattered houses. The scattered houses should be the location of the people's rooms and kitchen under the warehouse, the outer courtyard has an outer hall, study room, guest room, and a martial arts academy, which is a reception room for socializing and a place for learning and practicing martial arts, the layout of the house is ordinary and looks like a medium dot sized family, but the decoration is exquisite and elegant. It can be seen that the owner has some cultural heritage, not to mention a small lake in the inner courtyard, surrounded by various flowers and fruit trees, and seasonal vegetables in the corners. It looks like a small vegetable garden, let alone an ordinary family, Nalan also saw her mother in this life, a very gentle woman. Because Nalan's birth was very smooth and she had not suffered any harm, she was now able to sit up. The woman who had just given birth did not dress up, but was just wearing casual clothes. She leaned leisurely on the bed, playing with a jade rui in her hand. She was carefully listening to the maid's account of Nalan's birth and current situation, carefully inquiring about how Nalan slept, whether she woke up or drank milk. Although she had a wet nurse, Nalan's mother seemed to want to personally feed Nalan, and it seemed that the older brother of this body was also personally fed by her mother. She was truly responsible. What about my mother? Chapter 3 Injecting Air Into the Body You are listening at NovelFull.audio Because Nalan, who only encountered the Hongmeng Qi in the mother and fetus, did not want to miss the opportunity to gather the Hongmeng Qi. He continued to gather the Hongmeng Qi in the mother and fetus without stopping during this period. Although the Hongmeng Qi can form Tao seeds, laying a foundation for future cultivation, making future cultivation with Hongmeng Qi, spiritual energy contaminated with Hongmeng Qi, and bringing the original Tao energy closer to the Tao, 
it is easier to gain recognition from the Tao, and Nalan certainly does not want to give up this rare opportunity. He has been gathering the Hongmeng Qi in his mother's womb. Although relying on the Hongmeng Qi to condense the Tao seed in his body, he has laid an indispensable foundation for future cultivation. Nalan has not absorbed the ordinary spiritual energy of this world, nor has he officially introduced it into his body, so he cannot be considered officially embarking on the path of cultivation, now that Nalan has given birth to her mother, it is time to start practicing and absorbing spiritual energy, and embark on the path of cultivation. It is estimated that no one will come to see her for a while. Nalan does not want to delay for a moment and plans to start introducing energy into her body and practice as soon as possible, what is the name of the cloud for the world of sentient beings? Migration into the world, orientation as the boundary, all sentient beings weaving and intertwined with delusions, the world's Tao and Dharma are always one, and the cultivation of countless techniques cannot be counted as poor. Generally, Practitioners are divided into five elements according to their spiritual roots, water, gold, fire, wood, and earth. There are many masters who practice the five elements, but the techniques practiced by Nalan in his previous life were not included in this list. Nalan's previous life was called the Xianling Dao, which is not limited to the five elements, and the number of techniques involved are also ever dot changing, created by the great master Zunyuanzi of a generation. Zunyuanzi achieved great success in his cultivation and was about to embark on a long journey without knowing the exact date of his return. He expressed his gratitude to his descendants for the difficulty in cultivating spiritual roots, and his cultivation method was based on Xianyuan, experiencing the ever dot changing mysteries within the mysteries. In the dark world, he realized a highly inclusive Taoist method that was not confined to spiritual roots. In order to facilitate the cultivation of future generations, he created the Xianling Taoist method, also known as the Xuanyao Taoist method, for the convenience of future generations to practice, it can also be considered as passing down the Taoist teachings and drifting away without saying goodbye Nalan practices the Xianling Taoist method, and Zunyuanzi is Nalan's ancestor immortal. The Taoist method he practices is called orthodoxy, Nalan closed her eyes and began to feel the spiritual energy of this world. For the first time, she felt the orthodoxy of this world outside her mother's body. Due to her aura of enlightenment, the spiritual energy of this world was very close to her and spontaneously approached her. In no time, clusters of spiritual energy approached her spontaneously, and soon a pile of spiritual energy gathered. You squeezed me, I squeezed you, and you lean towards Nalan, from a distance, a large airflow surrounded Nalan, making her feel flattered. She thought to herself, is this the function of the Hongmeng Qi? Nalan carefully understood the orthodoxy of the world and these spiritual energies, making them even more excited. She squeezed me and squeezed you closer to Nalan. At this moment, a mysterious aura suddenly struck, and Nalan felt a rhythmic aura, feeling that the main road of the Baojie was responding to her, Gan tightly activated the Xianling Dao method and began to absorb spiritual energy. At this moment, the spiritual energy became more and more excited. Nalan felt a stream of air flowing in from above her head, and within her body, it flowed one circle after another back to the Dantian. Suddenly, a stream of clear spiritual energy entered from above her head, and the great Tao passed down the purple Yuan manual. Based on the Hongmeng Qi, she practiced the technique of purple Qi, the purple Yuan manual is a cultivation technique based on the presence of Hongmeng Qi in the body. It absorbs purple Qi to enhance one's Qi circulation. Chapter 4 Entering the Qi Training Period You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 4 Entering the Qi Training Period Nalan understood that this was a gift from the Tao, because he had been absorbing the Hongmeng Qi in his mother's womb. Nalan practiced the Tao in the near source of the Tao in the underworld, which was recognized by the Tao. The Tao lowered the cultivation method of cultivating purple Qi. Although he could not fully understand the wonderful use of cultivating purple Qi, a cultivation method that enhances Qi was a suspended technique. This is in the world, usually, only the son of Qi Luck could receive treatment, but he was actually given a rebirth. 
Although he did not understand the purpose of the Tao, his cultivation was at his heart. As a practitioner who had been practicing for thousands of years, Nalan understood that this was an unexpected opportunity and calmly continued to digest the newly acquired cultivation techniques. After the cultivation was completed, Nalan continued to absorb spiritual energy while running the cultivation techniques, making the spiritual energy closer to Nalan and absorbing it more smoothly, the spiritual energy gathered in the Dantian, and Nalan successfully introduced it into her body. She did not stop and continued to absorb the spiritual energy. More and more spiritual energy gathered in the Dantian condensed into clusters, which corresponded with the Tao seeds in the Dantian. She continued to operate her techniques, and the spiritual energy clusters slowly approached the Tao seeds. The connection between the two became closer and closer, slowly merging into one. When the two were completely integrated, Nalan operated the spiritual energy in her body for a week, practicing a layer of qi, starting now, Nalan successfully resumed his practice, Nalan continued to absorb spiritual energy, which continuously entered her body and circulated for a week into the Dantian. She was compressed and integrated into the air masses in the Dantian by Nalan, and this process continued to cycle back and forth. Time passed during Nalan's absorption of spiritual energy, and the process went smoothly and quickly reached the concentration of the second layer of qi cultivation. Nalan did not immediately enter the second layer of qi cultivation, but continued to stabilize the spiritual energy. Due to the origin of the Hongmeng qi, the speed of absorbing spiritual energy was very fast, Nalan has also integrated the purple spirit scripture gifted by the heavenly way, with a strong affinity for spiritual energy. Years of cultivation have taught Nalan to maintain a stable mindset and not rush for success, Nalan continuously absorbs spiritual energy, stabilizing it, and then stabilizing it until it reaches the maximum saturation level of the first layer of qi cultivation. She uses the Xianling Dao method to continuously operate the spiritual energy for a week, and it's time. The spiritual energy cluster trembles for a moment, suddenly expands in a circle, and smoothly enters the second layer of qi cultivation, Nalan did not stop to continue absorbing spiritual energy, slowing down the absorption speed of spiritual energy. She first experienced the purple yuan scripture in her heart, savoring each word carefully, until she remembered each word in her heart. At the same time, she remembered the operation root of the purple yuan scripture and drew it several times in her heart. After confirming that there was no problem, Nalan absorbed spiritual energy and started operating the purple yuan scripture. She saw scattered purple air floating in the air, together with the spiritual energy, it entered Nalan's body and slowly merged into the Dantian and Daozhong. Daozhong resonated faintly, presenting a faint purple color. As the purple energy slowly merged, the spiritual energy seemed to become smoother. The spiritual energy cluster in the Dantian suddenly expanded in a circle, leading to a trend of breaking through the second layer of qi cultivation. Nalan quickly slowed down the speed of absorbing spiritual energy and sorted it out, making it smoother and more solid, in order to break through each level with a solid and stable foundation, the ZUN manual has been circulating one circle after another, absorbing more and more purple energy. Nalan's mind has a kind of enlightenment. The ZUN manual not only enhances the practitioner's qi, but also affects the qi of those close to him. This is a technique that enhances blessings. Chapter 5 Mother You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Loi Zara Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 6 Taking Care of Mother's Body You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Taking Care of Mother's Body Nalan grabbed her mother's soft fingers with her small hand, running a wisp of spiritual energy slowly into her body, warming and nurturing her body. The spiritual energy ran through her body for a week, and the breath inside her was much smoother. With a few more runs, Nalan's body could recover to its original state. This is also because her current cultivation level is too low. If she practices five layers of qi and runs it for a week, she can easily recover. Her cultivation must be accelerated, Nalan thought, 
Miss and Madam are close, holding on to Madam's hand and not letting go, said Zhang Momo, he he, Wang smiled happily as she was coaxed. She looked at her little daughter, feeling as soft as sugar in her heart. Wang felt her daughter's soft little hand gripping her fingers, connecting them, and the comfortable feeling slowly spread throughout her body. It was very comfortable, and she couldn't let go of her hand anymore. This was the feeling between mother and daughter, Wang thought to herself, Zhang Momo, bring me my dressing box, ah, uh, Zhang Miao replied, walking to the dressing table and bringing the dressing box over, Wang took the dressing box and opened the bottom layer, revealing an ancient small box that looked ordinary and old, but was wiped clean. Wang opened the box and took out a green cloth bag. Opening the cloth bag, it was a small green jade pendant, crystal clear, with a thin chain tied to the top, Wang picked up the jade pendant and said to Zhang Momo, this was passed down from my mother, and it is said to have been passed down from my ancestors. From generation to generation, only the eldest daughter has been passed down. I also have a daughter now. This jade pendant should be given to Lana, Wang said, her eyes full of melancholy, Madam, don't be sad. Since ancient times, auspicious people have their own destiny, and the old lady must still be fine, Zhang Momo hurriedly said. Now that Madam has a daughter, it is a day of great joy. Do you know how happy the old lady is? Upon hearing these words, Wang let go of her worries and placed the jade pendant in front of Nalan. Lana, see if you like it, she said. Nalan looked at it and quickly reached out her little hand to grab the jade pendant, trying to divert Wang's attention. When her little hand touched the jade pendant, a surging and gentle force came in an instant. Nalan couldn't help but be startled. In this shock, she almost threw the jade pendant out. In a panic, Wang quickly grabbed Nalan's little hand and said, Oh, hey, my dear, my dear, this can't be thrown. This is a jade pendant that my mother has been carrying since she was young. Your grandmother personally brought it to me back then, your dear, and now this jade pendant is passed on to me. You're here, mom, put on the obedient treasure. Wang carefully put on the jade pendant for Nalan. Nalan picked up the jade pendant with her small hand and carefully looked at it. She saw a seed in the crystal clear jade pendant, which seemed to be emitting a sparkling green light. Nalan couldn't help but get closer and want to take a closer look. Without taking a closer look, a green light flashed. The seed rushed straight towards Nalan's face and entered the forehead purple mansion. It circled around the purple mansion like a garden, as if sensing something. It followed the vein and slowly approached the path in the Dantian. Seed, in the end, he settled down in the Daozhong and remained motionless. This feeling of being occupied by magpie nests and doves surprised Nalan, but he was helpless. With a flash of spiritual light, a piece of information entered Nalan's mind. It turned out that this seed was a treasure passed down by the Wang family, only recognizing the bloodline inheritance of Wang's descendants. It contained a seed space that could grow, but it was necessary to collect various plants for planting. After reading the information, Nalan let go of the heart she was holding. Chapter 7 Untitled You are listening at NovelFull.audio Nalan looked at the seeds in the Dantian and tried to communicate with them. Gradually, the space inside the seeds appeared in her sight. The space looked small, only the size of a small house, about two square meters. It was a dark patch of land with only a small bud in the middle. The tender green was very cute, and Nalan couldn't help but twitch her lips. This space was not as big as a storage bag in the original world. Besides being able to plant, it is said that one can grow, but the exact method of growth is still unclear. Perhaps the space is too old and has not been explained clearly. In short, it feels a bit noisy, good baby, good baby, mother's good baby, Wang hugged Nalan and called out incessantly, affectionately. It wasn't until Nalan yawned that she placed Nalan on the bed and gently patted her. Nalan slowly closed her eyes, grabbed her mother's finger, and spiritual energy slowly entered Wang's body, combing her body. Wang felt comfortable all over and lay beside Nalan, 
slowly closing her eyes and falling asleep, Nalan kept delivering spiritual energy to Wang's body, using the Xianling Taoist method to absorb and restore spiritual energy while combing her body. During this time, Zhang Miaomua came to see her several times and found that the mother and daughter were sleeping soundly. She slowly retreated and guarded outside to prevent anyone from disturbing them. It was not until evening, almost dinner time, that she stopped and waited for her mother to wake up slowly, slowly, Wang's eyelids moved. When she opened her eyes, she felt like she hadn't slept so comfortably in a long time. When she woke up, she felt incredibly relaxed and comfortable all over her body. It turned out that she didn't wake up until dinner time, Zhang Miao, has the master come yet? Wang asked, I've been here and saw that madam was sleeping well. After seeing miss and taking careful care of her, I went back to the hall. My son should also be having dinner this time, Zhang Momo replied. The master has been looking at miss for a while, it's really rare. He he, when I first found out I was pregnant, the master kept muttering that it should be a girl this time. If a girl were considerate and not as naughty as a kid, brother Roy would be too honest and complain all day long, the master looked at his son and young lady for a while, saying that they looked like a lady, had eyes like a nose like him, and had a face and plate like him, all of which were good qualities. He he, this wheezier has just been born with wrinkled skin. It's hard to tell who he looks like. His eyelids are sharp, Wang couldn't help but laugh at Zhang Miami's words. Oh, when it comes to Royer, have you ever noticed how Royer is now? I can't care about him in production. When the lady gave birth earlier, she was waiting outside the house with the master. Finally, she found out that she had a younger sister and happily went to buy lotus root powder and osmanthus cake, saying she wanted to eat with her sister. Finally, she heard that her sister couldn't eat it yet, and complained that her sister had no appetite. Finally, she was taken away by the master. She probably listened to her homework all afternoon, so she also ate with the master in the hall. Master has a heart, remember Royer, knowing how to help take care of her, uncle has always been a good person, remember to take a look at Royer for me later. I don't trust others, but I need you to take a look for me to rest assured, I see, said Zhang Momo. It's time for my wife to have dinner. Although she also drank porridge after production, she still needs to eat some for dinner. Pay attention to her health during production. Got it, I'll feed Lana milk first, and after that, I'll have dinner, Wang replied. Chapter 8 I am a baby. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Wang turned around and looked at Nalan, Nalan was conflicted in her heart. As an antique who had lived for thousands of years, she really couldn't do anything about being reborn and having to breastfeed. Nalan crazily hinted to herself that this rebirth was so rare, so rare. In addition, breast milk was pure, natural, pollution-free, and free of additives. The ancient air technology had not yet developed. Breast milk in ancient times generally did not contain plastic particles, heavy metals, or residues, and lacked technology in ruthlessness. When she returned to her childhood, she took a sip of clean ancient air, which was so rare Nalan pretended to wave her little hand, slowly waking up, as a thousand-year-old woman. Elderly people, drinking milk or something, embarrassing Wang saw Nalan wake up and gently stepped forward to pick her up, patting her gently. Oh, look, Lana's little face is red like a small apple, she said stop talking, embarrassing Nalan kept silently reciting in her heart. I am a baby, I am a baby, giving myself psychological hints, my face becoming increasingly red, how many words are omitted here after feeding milk, Wang gently patted Nalan until Nalan let out a fragrant belch, Momo, let's set up the meal, said Wang, ah, Zhang Momo responded, Wang had just finished giving birth and was still sitting in the postpartum confinement period. Naturally, she couldn't see the wind coming out of the house and couldn't eat inside. She didn't eat with everyone else and instead had a postpartum meal, Zhang Miaomi took the rice brought by the maid and placed it on the table. When the rice was ready, she took Nalan from Wang's hand and slowly comforted her. Wang began to eat, after finishing their meal, the maids removed their food and placed fruit cakes. 
Wong casually ate a few apples, wiped her mouth and hands, and hugged Nalan. Nalan had already been staring at the plate with the fruit pits, pretending to be a little baby and waving her little hands randomly. She pretended to be attracted by the fruit plate on the table and reached out to grab the fruit plate. Wong saw that, Loner, do you also want to eat fruits now? Loner, you can't eat fruits yet. Wong looked at it playfully and moved the fruit tray to Nalan. Nalan waved her small hand and took advantage of everyone's lack of attention to move a jujube core into the seed space. She held an apple core in her hand and didn't let go. There was nothing she could do. The target of the apple core was too large and suddenly disappeared, and it would be discovered. Wong was not angry either. As Nalan held on to the apple core and didn't put it away, her eyes were full of favor. While Nalan was holding on the apple seed while others were not paying attention, she pushed one towards the space and another towards the space. After fastening the seeds on the apple core in my hand, I threw the apple core into the plate and casually sent a jujube core into the space. After putting the jujube core in the space, I grabbed Wang's hand and didn't move anymore. There weren't many fruit cores in total, so I had to wait for the next one to be discovered, after dinner, Wang and Zhang talked and handled the affairs of the mansion. Nalin soon pretended to be sleepy, and the little baby was prone to drowsiness and sleepiness. Wang saw that Nalin was tired, so she put her on the bed and slept comfortably on Nalin. Nalin pretended to sleep and used his divine sense to enter the seed space. As a person who has practiced for thousands of years, he is very skilled in using his divine sense. Nalan planted apple seeds and jujube seeds near the small sprouts in the seed space, surrounded by the small sprouts in the middle of the seed space, without water. Isn't this kind of planting space supposed to have a spiritual spring or something, without watering? Chapter 9 Space Upgrade You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Space Upgrade Nalan looked at the two square meters of black soil and looked left and right. There was no water on the left and no water on the right. Even if there was no spiritual spring, as long as there was water, it would be good. Nalan thought, planting requires watering. How could there be no water? Nalan began to use his divine sense to observe the space. In a moment, Nalan's divine sense scanned the entire space, not even letting go of the edges and corners, not to mention Nalan's thousands of years of divine sense, just talking about the size of this seed space, cough cough, it's only two square meters. At first glance, I could see the corners and couldn't find any water. Nalan could only try to connect with the space, but I don't know why. Perhaps it's because time has passed too long, the space has degenerated into the most primitive state and turned into a seed, or for some other reason, the space has not responded, or it silently pretends to not exist. In short, there is no response from the space, Nalan stared silently at the sprouts in the space, pondering whether to bring in some water from outside, while contemplating, the seed space suddenly emitted a slight fluctuation. Nalan's divine sense was strong, and he suddenly noticed this small fluctuation. He silently focused on the space with his divine sense, only to see small ripples emanating from the space, as if the wind had blown by. The apple seeds and jujube seeds that had just been sown suddenly sprouted small sprouts, and the green sprouts grew upwards and stretched out. This was not over, and the space continued to fluctuate, the black soil began to spread outward, and when it reached a size of 10 square meters, the fluctuation stopped. The small sprouts in the middle seemed to have grown a bit. Looking at the suddenly enlarged space, did the space upgrade. Nalan calculated that he had just planted seven seeds, including five apple seeds and two jujube seeds, and the space expanded from two square meters to ten square meters. Is upgrading still relatively easy? Also, does this not require watering? Wow, this space function is good. If you don't need to water it, it saves you a big deal and makes planting easier, Nalan scanned the space with his divine sense and decided to observe it for a period of time. If there was no need to water it, it would save a lot of trouble. In the future, all he needed to do was collect seeds to upgrade the space, without worrying about whether to water the soil or not, 
Malin took her spiritual consciousness out of space and looked towards her mother, Juan, in this world. Although she had planted seeds in space, it didn't take much time. Juan was still chatting with Zhang Miaomo, and Nalin was not interested in listening. She wanted to absorb spiritual energy, which was too dynamic and enthusiastic to practice. She didn't dare to absorb spiritual energy, and closed her eyes and began to operate the Purple Yuan Manual. The scattered purple energy slowly approached and entered her body, running along the meridians and integrating into the Tao, one cycle after another, the purple energy in the air is only sporadic, very rare, which makes the cultivation of the purple yuan true scripture very slow. Nalan is not lacking in patience. In the original world, Nalan spent most of his time practicing when he had nothing to do. For Nalan, cultivation is a part of life, and Nalan is usually an extremely boring person, usually, nothing is just about practicing, and then practicing again. That's why we can enter the Mahayana period in just 1,600 years. We only need the opportunity to enter the transition period and expect to soar. Perhaps it was because we didn't encounter any bottlenecks in our practice that we encountered this opportunity. Chapter 10 Full Moon You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 10 Full Moon Nalan has been operating the Purple Yuan Manual in her body for an hour. After an hour, Nalan felt a constant sense of fatigue. Nalan, who has always been accustomed to cultivation, never expected that fatigue would come so quickly. It must be because Nalan is still a small baby now, and this baby's body is too weak to adapt to cultivation. It takes time to lay a solid foundation before she can adapt to cultivation. The practice still needs time to grow, to lay a good foundation, so as not to damage the body, which is not worth the loss. Now it is better to rest and adapt to this body. Nalan stopped practicing and decided to rest and sleep first, the life of a baby is very boring, basically just eating and sleeping. During this period, Nalan also diligently collects seeds. She spends her days eating, sleeping, and collecting seeds in Nalan. Through continuous efforts, there are one after another emerald green seedlings in the space, a scene of flourishing green oil. Now the space has been upgraded again, with two cherry seedlings, two peach seedlings, two apricot seedlings, two pear seedlings, five grape seedlings, two fig seedlings, five cucumber seedlings, and five tomato seedlings. When tomato seeds are planted in the space, the space rises. At 50 square meters, there is also a storage space of 50 square meters underground, which confirms that planting in the space does not require watering. The soil moisture is automatically maintained according to the needs of different plants, and the soil moisture cycle is automatically maintained. The emergence rate of seeds planted in the space is very high, but it has not been found that the seeds planted have not emerged yet. The emergence rate has reached 100%. Although Nalan has not planted in the land, she does not understand the quality and normal emergence status of these seeds. Such a high emergence rate still makes Nalan happy, now the space is divided into two levels, with a storage space of 50 square meters underground. The space is the same size as the land on the ground and should be able to grow together with it. The space is empty now, with nothing left. Who made Nalan still a little baby? What do babies have? Can we still put some diapers? Embarrassing time passed quickly, and Nalan was about to reach her full moon. The full moon was held very simply. Nalan's mother, Wang, believed that the baby was too fragile and decided to simply hold it for a full month. The family would have a lively time together. On the day of the full moon, which was also the day Nalan's mother gave birth, Wang woke up early to change her clothes and dress up. She instructed Zhang Mama to bring Nalan over, and Nalan was dressed in a new set of clothes made by Wang herself. She was dressed up as a little lowly, and Wang carried Nalan to the main hall. Nalan's father and brother were already in the main hall. Waiting, Nalan's father watched as Wang carried Nalan into the hall and welcomed her. He took Nalan from Wang's hand and said, your body is still weak, let me hold it. You should sit and rest quickly. It has been lying for a month now, 
and your body and bones are sore. If you don't move any more, your hands and feet will be numb. Wong smiled and said, sitting on the chair in the hall. Nalan's older brother, Narwe, also leaned over to his father and looked at Nalan. Why is my younger sister so young? She's growing so slowly. When will she grow up a bit? When will she be able to play with me? He said, reaching out to learn from his father's embrace of Nalan. Nalan's father, Narong, stopped him and said, Stinky kid, you're still young and can't hold your younger sister. Wong sat on the side and smiled. 